Hey everyone, it's Keza, also known as Sky. <laughs> I'm Keza, and my YouTube channel name is Skyler Loves Gordy Movies. That's it. I apologise in advance because this was meant to be done yesterday. And I'm a day late as always. And of course it's mine and James the Bossman's list of the top ten. And this week, James had no clue what to put, so thanks to Spider Movie Guy, aka Stephen Yarbrough, our list this week is top 10 celebrities we hate, or I hate, whatever. And James has already done his list, so here's my list, no honourable mentions, so let's get to it. Number 10 is Will Ferrell. I... Don't get me wrong, right? He's a funny actor. I just don't like the way he acts. I just... Don't really like him. I won't, don't like an anchor man. I wouldn't... Wouldn't even buy it. And any other films Ian just don't like him. He's just not a good actor, in my opinion. A lot of people will like him because he's funny. Yeah, he makes people laugh, but I just don't think he's a good actor, in my opinion. Number nine is Justin Bieber. Oh my goodness. He is a fucking nightmare. Like... He just, to me, I, I just feel he's a fake person. Like, he acts all, like, tough and, like, a gangster and all this, all because, oh, I got a criminal record for this, that, and other. Oh, I do this, I do that. I, I think I can get away with murder. He's just a fucking asshole. I hate him. He is just a pillock. An absolute, absolute pillock. <laughs> Which brings me on to number eight. Right, and before I carry on, Ian, this next person has nothing to do with him playing for Liverpool. He's, I just don't like him in general. And that is Louis, well, he used to play for Liverpool. It's Louis, Louis Suarez. I don't like people that bite in a football match. I just think they're just dirty, slimy people that do that. You don't bite in a football match, you're there to kick a ball around and shoot some goals. Not go around. Going up to people, trying to tackle them and then bite their ear off or bite their neck off. Oof. Pisses me off. And I just don't like it, I just don't like him. Now, that was number eight. Now, number seven is two people. I just don't like these people in general. What they do in WWE, the storyline about these two, I just don't like, well, especially here in general, she's just, oh, I detest her. And that is Lana and the Rustev. And she goes, Russia, we trash you. Oh, one, her voice detect, I hate her voice. Two, I feel it. She shouldn't be a manager. If she's there in WWE, fucking wrestle like fucking Natalia, who's, I think, one of the best female wrestlers. I think she's the best here, and Paige and AJ are the three best female divas in the WWE, in my opinion. And as for Rusev, the fucking man, all he can do is a fucking... Cam a version of a camel clutch and fucking likes to kick people and you can't wrestle and <laughs> I just oh I detest just you you're not meant to be in a freaking WWE thingy one I understand Lana does speak with a Russian accent yes she's English she can speak in English and yet Rusev is freaking Bulgarian. 
He doesn't even have a Russian accent. <sighs> Crazy. Um, number six, going on the lines of WWE, is I think what the worst fe female diva supposedly wrestler to freaking have ever come out of WWE. I know, Stephen, you like the divas, but I'm going to be hating on one of your fate, one of your divas that you like. And it's, she's known as Cameron. Her real name's Ariane. That girl, for one, she can't wrestle. You do not, in any sort of wrestling ring, go, oh, refuse a tag, and then decide to fucking put lip gloss on yourself. You, you're meant to be a female wrestler. You're meant to be wrestling. Not fucking putting makeup on. It's not fucking a beauty contest. It's a fucking wrestling match. Oh, fucking dog. Don't like her. So that's number six. Number five is Ricky Gervais. Oh, I hate him to the high heavens. There's one of the cruelest bastards in the world. What he freaking puts Carl Pilkington through. You f slime ball. <laughs> I just, I just, it just, like, I didn't like him in the office. I don't, I don't like his shows. He's not my type of comedian. He's just awful, in my opinion. Absolutely, absolutely awful. I don't think he can act. I don't think he should be on freaking telly making a fool out of people. I think Carl Pilkington. Carl Pilkington should put the role reversals on you. How how you would like to do what he's done. That's how I feel. Right. Which brings me on to number four. Another another female wrestler. The reason why I hate this person is because... Don't get me wrong. She, she can wrestle. I've seen, her, I've seen her on YouTube videos. She can wrestle. But my problem with her is she has no respect for the wrestling business. That's why WWE and TNA don't want to hire her. Because she has no respect for the wrestling business. And that is Reva Sky married to uh, Matt Hardy. She is just one of the most vilest persons in the world. Don't get me, I like I like the way she wrestles, but it's it's just the attitude towards professional wrestling in general. She has no respect for other female wrestlers. She has no respect for wrestling in general. I just detest her two bits. So that's number four. What, um, number three, <laughs> just almost give it away. Then number three is a. Football player that pay, plays for Manchester United. People do like this person playing football. I just think he looks like a monkey. <laughs> That's his nickname from me. He's a monkey. And of course, it's Wayne Rooney. I just feel that all he wants to do is just be a fucking... Oh... Well, it's him that should be the friggin' wag, wag, not his wife. Like, I know, like, I don't think he really, like, he can play, but he can't play football, if you get what I mean. He just, he's just, and then he went, he, like, that's why Everton fans, I know I'm an Everton supporter, but I don't hate him for going to Manchester United, but a lot of Everton fans do. I just think... What it is, is about him, it's money. And I don't like people that all they're after for, in whatever profession they are, is that money. I hate people like that. So that's number three. And he's just an arsehole in general. Um, Number two is, of course, one of the worst directors in the planet. I know Zig, it's Zig's favourite director, so that's your clue. <laughs> I just detest this person. I just think everything that's been a classic, and then when he gets his hands on it, he fucks it up. And that's Michael Bay. 
like Transformers, he's fucked it up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, he's fucked that up. Us, like who I've been told, and everything else he 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 does, he just fucks it up. He can't direct. He should be fucking directing a fucking romantic comedy because this is how these fucking actions here things come out as fucking rom-coms and fucking stupid stuff. He's just a stupid director that can't direct at all. I hate him. They test him. And number one is two people that I hate mostly in the world and actually married to each other, which is my number one. First of all, we'll talk about Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, to me, um, he has no respect yet. Well, he's a good wrestler. He's not a great wrestler. He's a good wrestler. All he's after is money to provide for that bitch of a fucking ugly, fucking horrible wife he's got. And don't get me started. I'll start on it in a minute. About it in a minute. To me, Brock Lesnar does not personify professional wrestling. Yeah, he's a good amateur wrestler. I'll admit that. He was brilliant in the UFC, the NCAA. But I think the way he is now in WWE, just, it's, well, since last year, is just fucking diabolical. What he's done, what he, like, oh, you'd expect somebody to come into the wrestling business, well, WWE, take the title from somebody that's worked in WWE. Don't get me wrong, I like John Cena. But you just should not expect somebody just to come in, take a title off somebody and go, oh, I'm going to be a part-time champion. What the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Like, I hope that John Cena or somebody else takes the title from him. I just don't like the way that they decided at WrestleMania 30, oh yeah, Undertaker losing the streak to that prick. Taker should have just kept his streak alive and that would have been guaranteed his place near enough straight away Hall of Fame. I know he'll get his place a Hall of Fame eventually, but you should not have let him beat you. He's, I just, he's just horrible. Just, he doesn't respect any fucker. I know, like he done that whole Hogan incident, but Hogan is a dis. Hogan can be a disrespectful bastard sometimes as well. Don't, as well. But at the end of the day. Brock Lesnar, I can't stand you. You're a lo load of beeswax. You're a pile of horse manure and this, that, and the other. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't even go back to WWE. All you want is money to provide for the bitch of your wife, who I'm going to talk about now, which is Sable, also known as Rena Lesnar. Now she was known as Rena Miriam. Sable. <sighs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Here we go. Why I hate Sable so much, she is a disrespectful, lying, conniving, twat, piece of shit, bitch, uh, accuse of people. Oh, you're on steroids, aren't you? Oh, you can't look as good as me when I've had about five boob jobs and I look amazing. Go fuck yourself. Um, I just she go and she then she says, "Oh, WWE treated me so badly, so I left. But why did you come back in fucking two thousand and three and make a load a fucking ass out of yourself by fucking?" Pulling your top down and showing your knockers off to fucking people. As the same she is with Brock Lesnar, she's fucking got no respect for the business. She slags off people that are fucking better than her. 
I know people in the world aren't perfect, but she just doesn't respect anybody. And then she decides to say, like, oh, 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 and freaking moans, and then wants all sorts of this, that, and you. That's why her husband's in the freaking business. Because he's getting all the money for fucking providing for that bitch. <laughs> She's fucking horrible. I don't like her. So, anyway, rerun this top 10 list before I go insane. Number 10, Will Ferrell. Number 9, Justin Bieber. Number 8, Luis Suarez. Number 7, Lana and Rusev. Number 6, Cameron, also known as Ariane. That's a real name. Number five, Ricky Gervais. Number four, Reba Sky. Number three, Wayne Rooney. Number two, Michael Bay. And of course, number one, Sable slash Rena Lesnar and Brock Lesnar. That is my list. I am going to be choosing the top ten list next week. It's going to be a good one. I've got a couple in here waiting to be broadcasted to the universe. So, yep. Stay gory, you bugalogs, and have unpleasant dreams. That are for now. Bye.